don't know if I'm feeling this hairstyle. It feels a little bit too like um, Maria Conchito a lot. So it's fashion week. It's fashion week. Yeah! I'm in New York City and it's fashion week and I love fashion. And I've been seeing so many goodies out there. And fall is right around the corner or really it's here. And there is the hottest fashion trends for 2022 slash 2023 for fall. That I can't wait to talk to you about. Top 10 fall fashion trends that I am looking forward to the most. Let's get into bitches. Uno, rainbow. Hold on to your kahunas. Rainbow fashion. Dopamine dressing. It's going to rise up your blood pressure, your mood type of color. It will be ever present for fall and fashion. And I don't know why I'm doing this. I am just drinking coffee. I'm like loving the coffee. Mood boosting hues, right? Like, oh my God, if you haven't seen the Valentino fall lineup, I was going to say stop this video, but don't stop this video because I need your views and I need your support. At the end of this video, go look at it and you're going to see it. It is a stunning, stunning, stunning fall collection that you need to look at for inspiration. It's all about the acid inducing, mood boosting hues. Oh my God, we came up all way. <laughs> we already have it in your collection. If bring it out this season because it's going to be the rage. Why I'm looking forward to this trend is because I get depressed during the fall and the winter. And I've said it so many times on my channel that colors lift my spirit. Just think I'm going to be unreasonably bright. And you're right on trend. No one else biker chick biker chick biker chic biker babe it's like the heavy duty toughened up leather look that i love i saw the return of the classic moto jackets the biker jackets the bomber jackets toughen up any look i think this is beautiful and this is something that hasn't really gone away it's something that's always there so you either have it in your closet or then embark on something leathery because leather is also a classic thing it's something that will go on forever and ever and ever and the reason i love this is because it's a classic chic sexy look numero three the goth aesthetic now the good thing about trends is that you don't have to go through all the trends to be on trend find one that you like one that actually speaks to you it's not about shopping you may already have this in your closet gothic is going to be in and i love this because i embrace the darkness like i said like i stated earlier for fall winter i tend to be a little bit more depressed halloween's around as well and i love halloween so it's more of an incentive or the go ahead for me to be more darker i mean can you feel it because i love it number four so pretty okay this is not one that i would naturally vibe with the so pretty trend is all about those pretty dresses those feminine dresses flowery dresses dresses full of tulle you don't have to be just dresses of course it can be shirts it could be pants and it just has that beautiful delicate elegant pretty type of look with frills and things like that pretty looks is not something that that i genuinely or naturally vibe with but i'm all about it this season i'm all about it this season why am i all about it this season you asked is because i'm gonna take the leather look or the goth look and pair it with my prettiest dresses that i haven't worn so long toughen up that freaking little pretty princess type of dress rock the hell out of it with my boots and just have fun with it like i'm 16 years old i know if you didn't know any better you would think i'm 16 right number cinco business leaders no it doesn't mean that you need to be at the top of a corporate company or whatever have you to embark on this trend <laughs> Although that wouldn't be a bad thing. Autumn 2022 will signal workwear's long-awaited comeback post-pandemic. With designers juxtaposing sleek minimalism with feminine skirts within their collections that were once seen in the 90s. Though the runways, from what I've seen, have spoken with more of a traditional aesthetic to the suitwear, it is still hung up on the casual comfort side of the business leaders type of aesthetic think business the suits the blazers the vests the ties like it's so sexy to wear a blouse with a tie with a blazer with beautiful materials and things like that with the tailored pants i always thought that there was like this chic minimalistic sexy vibe about that menswear vibe that I truly love so much. And that is why I want to embark on this trend in particular. 
do is my go-to when I want to feel sexy and confident. What number was I up to? Numero six. <laughs> Etta Angle shoes. Now, let's be honest. They're going to come out with a plethora of shoes, but that's probably going to be a different video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you want to see a video on the top 10 shoe trends that I'm looking forward to for fall fashion. If you add an angle shoes is one of the ones that I'm looking forward to. And you're probably like, what the fuck is that? And it's all about slanted heels. I mean, from like sleek heels that are slanted to chunky heels that are slanted and deconstructed and like, what the hell's the drama, Daisy? I need my coffee. I mean, you're seeing them everywhere. I mean, I saw them like Bottega Veneta. I saw them from Valentino, Rick Owens. Having some kind of deconstruction to the heel. My new Balenciaga heels. <sighs> the deconstruction is right here at the heel part because it's not your regular type of heel pump. It is that pump where it is completely deconstructed here, where this part here comes out and gives it such an edge. It's ridiculous. And because this part here slants down, it's giving me that gorgeous, sexy pump look, but with a complete edge. Obsessed with them so much so that I already wore them. As you can see, I have to fix the bottom. If you are big on luxurious shoes and you love luxury shoes, just like I do, I am so happy to say that I can offer my viewers a 5% discount using my code, which is lipstick at checkout for $200 or more on the site everything will be linked down below at my description box ultimo the return of the waste i'm looking forward to the return of the waste because what latina doesn't have a waste okay <laughs> i mean which latina wouldn't want to accentuate her waist more than she already does i love it this is sexy. This is like golden hour. You're going out in the night. You have a sexy day. You're going to see it in so many different type of varieties. I mean, built into the dress with corseted pipings and metal hardware to cinch in your waist, even into like looking more for accessories as in belts to give you that hourglass look, even like the corseted type of tops or bodysuits. It's going to be a big thing. I think this is a gorgeous trend. And the reason I'm looking forward to it is because it just gives me that sexy vibe, that glam vibe that I need for when I want to go out and during the fall because it's hard to get my ass to go out in the cold weather because I'm always freezing. So it's going to take a hell of a beautiful corset to get me going. Are there any in this list that tickle your fancy? 